Hello, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com. I'm here today to talk about our video on normal mapping in ZBrush 4. Um, basically having the ability to uh, take objects in from other software packages like Lightwave and bring them into ZBrush, uh, creating normal maps like you see here on our Velociraptor uh, character here. You can create things like uh, really cool bumps and scales. Okay, so create some really realistic effects. And like I said, be able to export these normal maps back out again to, uh, to other software packages. Uh, in this particular case, we used uh, Lightwave uh, 3D. Okay, so if you're interested in being able to create uh, these type of uh, effects, um, you just go to our website and uh, as you can see here we have our ZBrush 4 normal maps ZBrush for Lightwave 3D users and this is part of our software integration uh, learning series um, you can see over here we have uh, three different videos uh, one's for normal maps one for displacement maps and the other one is for uh, color maps and with this series you can um, basically bring uh, models that you created in Lightwave, bring them into um, ZBrush or any object that's an OBJ fo file format because that's what, uh, how should I say, ZBrush reads. Um, you can't import Lightwave files into uh, ZBrush. You have to convert them to an OBJ file. We show you how to properly prepare them, um, make it so that they actually work properly with ZBrush. And then once you get them in ZBrush, we create all the, uh, how should I say, the, uh, the uh, normal map information, like the, uh, the bumps and the scales for the character. Okay. And then once we're done that, we show you how to properly um, export the, uh, the actual normal maps back out again and then bring them into your other software package. Like I said, in this case, we used um, Lightwave 3D. Okay. Um, so, so anyways... Um, this video has a full description, has a full table of contents, as you can see here. Um, the normal mapping video is 2 hours and 49 minutes. Um, it is a beginner to intermediate level 3D user, or 3D artist level. Okay, and uh, like I said, we have uh, the whole series here. Um, it's a little cheaper if you buy the whole series all together. Um, Normally, each one individually is $19. If you get them all together, it's only $45, so you save about $12. Okay, so if you go to learn3dsoftware.com, um, we have a really easy uh, user interface to find the software package that you're interested in using. This is our homepage, learn3dsoftware.com. Um, you just go under ZBrush, okay, and you can see here all our different uh, training videos for ZBrush, okay. We even have them going back as far as uh, ZBrush 3.1. Uh, even though some of these are a little older, uh, they do still have a lot of good stuff in it. We have uh, integration series uh, exporting out from ZBrush 3.1 into Lightwave as well, uh, showing some different techniques, so on and so forth. Um, so anyways, all you do is you go here and you find your normal mapping video, click on it, and there you are. Okay. So that's all the time we have for now. This is Adam Gibson from Learn3dSoftware.com.